Hey guys, it is me, DJK Kyle, and we are out on this beautiful sunny day playing golf. Now, this is going to be a slightly different review than normal. Um, today we're reviewing the Shotscope V2 um, GPS and performance tracker. Why? Because I love tech, as everyone knows, and any chance I get to play with some tech and use new tech, I am well up for. So, what we're going to do, we're going to play a little bit of golf, record some shots, check how accurate the GPS is against another GPS, um, then we're going to leave it here from the golf course, jump back in the van, go home, talk a bit about what the actual product is and what it does, look at some of the statistics and take it from there guys. So yeah, let's get cracked on. We've got 120 yards, par three, slightly uphill, really relaxed pitching wedge I think, let's see how we do. I think we came slightly across that. Let's take a little look. <laughs> so guys, we're up at the green. Yeah, ended up being a pretty good club selection. Um, nice and relaxed pitching wedge. That's where we are, that's where the ball is. And as we sort of thought it did, came slightly off the uh, club face and we've uh, gone just just a bit left of it. Let's get this done. So guys, we just hold that uh, putt there. That was a very nice putt if I do say myself. Um, and what it does there, it will change from yardage mode to kind of shot um, for putts mode. It's called pin collect, which we'll talk about later. But it just changes on your thing to, um, give you an option for uh, how many putts you do and it knows where you were where you putted and you mark the hole and it gives you an idea of how good and how accurate your putting is which I think is just fantastic so let's play a little bit of golf guys let's get going see what happens just uh run into a two ball in front of us so gonna be a little bit of a delay for the moment so yeah let's get let's see what happens so guys little update we're going to check the accuracy here against another device. So my phone, using a golf shot, reckons we are to the centre of the green, 357 to the back edge, 366. Obviously that is going straight over there. So realistically it's not because we're going to have to go up and around. And mine reckons we are 361, which is pretty similar. 377 to the back compared to 364, 35 there. So yeah, it's pretty pretty accurate now we'll see how it goes the only issue i have found is this is the seventh but this is actually a par five um it looks like the yardages are correct on this so the yardages are all right everything like that's fine but for some reason it's got the old scoring so this course used to play the other way around so it used to be what i'm on now used to be on the back nine so this would have been the 16th um whereas now it's the seventh so it's got the right yardages and it knows that we're on the right hole but it's got the wrong pars because the pars are from the other way round this is the only uh, this is the second course i've played on and this is the this is the first time i've had problems i played um, a couple course called settleskin no issues whatsoever yardages were spot on pars were spot on everything was spot on this just isn't quite right. Yardages are still fine. I've been checking it against the, the phone. Yardages are fine um, and it knows where things are fine. It's just for some reason, it's got the wrong way around on the scores. We'll see if this continues. We're just currently waiting for uh, some guys who are just down there hiding in those trees. You probably can't see, but I can just see them. So we're just waiting on them at the moment. Um, and yeah. See how it goes. I'm playing pretty well. I'm really happy with how I'm playing today, which is good it's on camera. It looks like they might be waiting for some people on the green as well. So we're all waiting for everyone. And uh, ideally they would be letting me play up, but they haven't lost a whole I know. So I'm just gonna wait and yeah, see what happens guys. So guys, it looks like they're moving on. We're gonna go play this hole. I'm gonna pop you down in front of me and uh, we're gonna play this hole and see what it is. So this is gonna be the hole um, seven, all going well. We'll uh, be able to look at this whole comparison to where we are on the fairway compared to where it gets on the map. So 
So guys, that was a four iron we just hit. Hopefully, hopefully we nailed the baby draw um, because there's some trees here and I just wanted to kind of, you know, gently bring it round those trees. I'm not sure if I had enough club in my hand, to be honest. Um, I didn't quite catch it perfectly. Um, so we might have not got away with it. But the next club up in my bag is a five wood. And last time I hit five wood, I was well long. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Um, and it'll be interesting to see where we are um, in real life in comparison to the app. Let's have a look, guys. The four iron was not optimistic. This is what I mean about the baby draw. Um, the tees are over there. We are nicely round this corner here. And there we are. There's our green, 175 yards, 73 yards to the middle, 165 to the front, 187, 182 to the back. Let's give it a go. Ooh. I heard that one bounce. Hopefully it's okay. Talk about just about water water out of bounds water green you might be able to see down there i took another practice shot just on the edge of the green but here's our baby let's go so guys we saved par on that last one um it's par five four iron six iron obviously we missed on that approach shot with that six iron um but the other approach would have been on so realistically we could have birdied it but yeah on chip on two putt I'm happy with the par, especially because I wasn't sure if that ball was lost. So, we're on this hole. Um, we're gonna play a bit of golf. I've got one more hole I wanna um, record with you guys. Um, that's a bit later on. So I'm gonna play a little bit of golf, play with my, play to myself. Almost said something a little bit more inappropriate there. Um, we're just waiting for them to walk off the green and then we're gonna hit up 230 yards. So, maybe we'll go for it, who knows. Four iron, five wood, don't know yet, let's see. Hey guys, so we've been played through a few times. Um, we're now stuck behind a four, a three and a two. So I thought now's a good time to kind of catch up, see how things are going. So my phone reckons we're 309 yards away from the green. My watch reckons we're 313. So yeah, within a few yards of each other, nothing major to, walk, to write home about. Um, I say we've got a few people in front of us, and I don't know about you guys, but I, I really dislike stopping when I'm playing golf. I play so much better on my own when I can walk up, play, walk up, play, walk up, play. Um, I was hoping this time of day on a Sunday it would be quieter, but apparently not. So what we're going to do is we're going to record this last hole for you guys. Hopefully it's going to go well. We'll get it down the fairway, have another comparison on there, and I'll be able to then walk you through everything that's going on. Accuracy wise has been fantastic. Obviously this, the um, capabilities of this are great. I can switch here, change if I've got a penalty, I've got a lost ball, drop, um, ping my pin collect, which automatically, when I walk up to the green, will detect that I'm at the green to change to record my shots. And I'll talk about that properly later, but it's fantastic. I had my doubts about it when, it, when I first was told about it, but it's really come through. And apologies for keep wiping my eyes. I put sun cream on because it's warm and a lovely day and where I've been sweating is running my eyes and it well hurts. So yeah, but we're here. Um, as well, I can kind of check this and see what my yardage is to my hazards are. There's um, some sand and some worrying stuff that I need to be worried about, a little ditch, but nothing too bad to be worried about. So yeah, once it's a bit clearer down there, we'll get going. Typical fashion guys, that was horrendous. Lovely, lovely connection, but really wayward. Um, I got a, after that little baby fade, I was been kind of just coming slightly across it. Um, I counteracted that this time, just a little bit too much. And we've gone left, left. So yeah, we're on a little hunt now to find that and uh, hopefully save a path from here. Walks off with a bogey in the end guys, doesn't matter. 
wasn't the easiest shot in from where I was and left my chip from there not quite as long as I wanted then missed by a foot so yeah walked off with bogey happens so yeah we're gonna finish this off now guys pop you away and uh, catch you in a bit when we're gonna talk about what this is the features and what to expect guys so speaking a bit So guys, we are back here in the studio now to take a little look at the um, some of the features. Then we're going to jump on and actually look at how it all went. So we're going to quickly go and see what this says. I mean, you can feel free to read this. We're on Amazon at the moment because obviously that's where I bought it. Um, the Shot Scope B2. Now, as they kind of say, the smartest watching golf. And I don't disagree. Uh, it's a bit of a weird claim, but yeah, I don't disagree. Obviously, as it says, it's the um, it's got fully integrated um, and automatic performance tracking. Um, so as you can kind of see, you hit it from the tee. Say we use our four iron, pitching wedge on, and putt, and so on. And it, it will track that and work out what's what's going on with that for you. Um, within the display, obviously, you can you've got your normal distances to fairways like we saw on my um, on my one. But then you can also flip it and see some of the distances to your hazards um, and see what's going on. The app is good and it does, works fine, but the, the statistics are definitely better on the PC. So I would definitely recommend the PC over the phone. It does it okay on the phone, but to get the most out of it, definitely connect it up to your computer and use it like that. Now the ClubSense stuff is fantastic because I say it uses the dynamic yardages, which is what you want. Um, it will tell you where you are and what you're doing, um, but it will also give you an accurate point as to where you are on the green. So if you're behind the green, it will tell you where the front of the green is in relation to where you are. So it won't be the front of the green on the flip side, which is great. Um, it gives you those accurate readings. Um, and as you can see, it's got the performance dashboard, the statistics and all the courses that are there. Now, with the tags, obviously you take your shot, you've got these tags screwed into the bottom of your clubs. When you go to take your shot, it detects that you, you've got that club, detects where your GPS is, records your shot, and off it goes. Um, when you're putting, the screen, as you get to the golf, as you get to the hole, it will automatically realise that you're on the, on the green and, and do that, do that putt. So that's kind of a bit about what it does. Obviously, the statistics are phenomenal. Um, we'll take a little look at them, um, take a look at, look at the after the round stuff. Um, and yeah, this, in terms of the features, it's obviously GPS, how far did you hit it, where are your hazards, what are your holes, all that sort of stuff as you'd expect in a GPS watch for golf. It does everything that you'd expect. The really cool stuff is the performance tracking. So... This is last round that we played. Uh, we were playing at Wellshurst, as you can see. Now, you can notice a big stark difference between how I play when I'm on my own, when I can focus on my game, compared to how I play with my dad. Now, my dad is my bogey player as such. I just can never play a good game of golf with him, which is very, very clearly referenced. I was, I'll was i be honest, I was playing better than average um, when we did this video, um, and I was very happy with how we played. Much better, I say better than average. Um, my handicap at the moment is around seven, so yeah, that is fantastic. Lee played that, not so much, but yeah, let's take a little look. So we can see the round that we played on par threes. We shot an average of two point seven five, four on a par fours, and five bang on on your par fives. Um, compared to my season averages, that was a better round. Um, the round I shot equal par. My season average is now 8.5. Um, how many parts on average did I take per hole and all this sort of stuff. Compared to my round to my season, compared to my round to my season, my round to my season. All of this stuff is automatically tracked. Now I'll admit all of this stuff I can see on that golf shot app that I have. Um, so it's kind of a bit, bit kind of samey samey but it's still cool to see and it's still interesting to watch this little look at this little picture. Now when we get back, it's obviously been sunk up. So we would go to edit and sign off once it's been here. It would tell me what my handicap is, what tees did we play for, 
um, and obviously we viewed these but they wouldn't be viewed so we would go to edit now one of the holes that we did obviously I was first there we'll go through to the second to the third and to the fourth this was no not this one the fifth was that hole that we um, we recorded did our first recording on that we birdied so we could zoom in a little bit obviously this is limited to Google Maps so this is as close as I can go um, we can see here it hasn't quite got my tee right um, we were teeing off from over there so we would just drag that to the tee and there we go we've teed off from there as we can see down here it knows that we used a pitching wedge um, like we said in the video it says that it's we hit it 126 yards we're going to look to there and that is approximately where we were we were probably a little bit further off the edge there and the flag was possibly just about there um, and that's how we can edit it we can just sort of tra change this and go cool well that was that was there that's where we were parting from and that's where the hole was if I decided my putt was over there I could drag it over there and say that's where it was this is this is the correction side of things so if it if I realize that I I haven't quite got it right on here it hasn't quite got my GPS correct I can just go in and edit that and and fix the fix the problem likewise um, if we go to this hole here this was um, another one that we did our four iron and our six iron on as we can see our four iron and our six iron so we ended up hitting that four iron 100 217 yards um, we can zoom in check to make sure our tee position is correct which as good as it is in the shadow we'll check to make sure that ball is where we wanted it and yet that's pretty much where it was um, and then we'd go and see was that by the side of the green on the path yeah bang bang there we go as we can see we left that part really short so we'll then go through and check the rest of the stuff um, and see where we are if we go back to the hole that we did there this is the one that I was on the tee again um, that didn't go very well so as you can see if we zoom in this is where the tee was and yet yeah, that's that's pretty much bang on right um, and we leaked it to the right so sorry to the left which yep yeah, we can see it went just over those trees and that's what we were saying about having to chip over where it's chip over those trees get it up get it down and uh, if I was being a bit more risky I might have gone over here you can't see it on this because it's an old Google Maps picture but that is an actual bunker rather than just a grass bunker um, so it would have been a bit more risky to go but no guts no glory I probably could have risked it and it gives me an idea of what the distances was I know I hit my five wood I know I hit my wedge I did a little chip on with my my eight iron and putted it from there and that's what it would go through and do on all the rest of the holes um, just checking to make sure they are what they are and everything is is okay with those um, if we decided as you can kind of see with this one we did a five wood six iron five 56 degree um, here we just did a seven there <clears throat> and all of this is just to allow you just to double check what was going on um, and as I say on the 18th we just plonked a six iron up there and we ended up just not quite getting our part perfect but there once we're happy with what we've done we'd save it and we'll go save and exit it will then save wing and if we're happy with this now we will include it in our performance statistics because we want to um, we can share it if you want don't share it whatever and sign it off saying you're happy with it um, congratulations you've unlocked some medals um, we did this round in three hours apparently so it can go us and it will give you some some average some some medals that you've you've got for it which is quite cool if you're uh, interested in it um, yeah if you're interested in those statistics it gives you them which is really cool now the really good stuff is the performance statistics this is where it thrives for me now we're gonna do our last round to start with here we've got average P average longest and usage now average is literally as it says it's an average of every shot you did with that club um, which is cool gives me an idea roughly of what I was doing what I feel is more average especially as you get more rounds in is this P average it removes your extreme shots and your on um, both long and short so that gives me a much better steppage that I can understand 
compared to that. So for example, it just allows me, because for example, my five wood, I, I hit a few that weren't quite right, um, and I hit a few that were massively long. Um, so that average is there, but then this gives me a much better average of what I was doing, um, and allows me just to see that. And as you go to all, you can then see your average start to form there, which makes a lot more sense than this one, saying that my four iron was 182 yards, because I know why that is, because I might have dudded a tee shot on the last round I played before this one, um, that went about 70 yards. So obviously my four iron average is now forever going to be significantly lower because of that. But if I go to the P average, it jumps right up to a happier place um, and, and gives me a rougher idea and gives me a better idea of everything. Um, obviously, this is only off two rounds now. Um, this is the last round we were playing. So we can kind of see we were striking the ball a lot better this round. Um, and it, it gives me all that. And it also says, how what was my longest shot with all of these? Now, as I said in, in the video, I don't have a driver. So five wood is the longest club for me. Um, so those are the distances I hit the longest strike um, of them all. And yeah, obviously, for example, here we see that we used our nine iron for 6%, which means we probably used it once, maybe twice. Um, so our average of uh, our, our longest of 135 there is kind of be is significantly shorter than our pitching wedge, obviously, um, because chances are we were choking down or hitting a less less shot, whereas our pitching wedge commonly we were probably hitting a fuller shot, and that's where your uh, averages really start to come into play, and our averages over our more courses or our p average really start to form an accurate idea of our distances. So. That's all of our shots, but then we can also do the exact same on our tee shots. So how did our tee shots go? How were our approaches? Um, what was our longest approach shot? What was our longest tee shot? All these sort of things. It really allows you to drill into these details and work it out. Now, if we go to tee shots, they've got a bit of a bug at the moment, which I've raised a ticket for and they've responded to, which is really cool. For some reason, this will show 245 meters, but show this distance in yards, which it's not. So if I refresh this, hopefully it will do it correctly. Nope, see, it's it's doing it here still. And I have raised this with them, and they, they've responded to me, which is fantastic. Um, but for the moment, that's fine if we... For it to not be right. See, that's not right still. One last refresh. There we go, that's better. So as we can see, that is now in yards, and it gives me 256 yards... Um, and a 2.52 two yards there, which gives me a rough idea of where I've been hitting the ball. And I can then see how accurate I have been to the fairway. Obviously, this one, as you can see, um, was three yards left of the centre. That one, being further out, was 32 yards left of the centre. So it gives me a better idea of how close to the fairway I was in comparison to other shots. How wayward, for example, this one was 32 yards compared to this one, which was 14 yards. Now, the scale is relative to each other. So that's what you've got to be aware of. So, for example, the closest one here is 17. Um, that's 12. Um, and that's 14. So they're kind of similar places. So you've just got to be kind of careful as to where they are and, and use this with a bit of sanity yourself. But we can check our clubs. We can see that's our five woods over the last round. We can go the last round and see... All of our clubs, that's what we did on the last last round we played. Those were our fives woods. As we can see, we weren't doing particularly well off the tee. Um, as you can see, the least accurate club was my five wood. We didn't do particularly well off the tee with, uh, with the five wood. Although this one here, the 17th, while yes, we were left of the tee, uh, left of the fairway, that was a positional shot. So we went over those trees. Um, and yeah, it didn't run quite as long as I might have wanted it to. But being saying it was a miss left is, while it's technically true, it was a perfect position that I would have wanted it. So all of this you want to look over and treat, take with a bit of salt and everything, as they say, um, and just 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 check it out. Um, and it kind of gives you all these statistics about how accurate I was on the fairway. Um, if I missed left, um, I was most likely to get a par. Um, I, if I bo if I miss left, there's a 25%. I'll get a bogey. Um, if I miss right, it's 50-50. If I'll par or bogey it, 
Um, but as you can kind of see, my tee shots average were much better. Um, and my birdie, obviously, fairway hits was was good there. And again, gives me my distances so I can accurately track that a bit better. We can do the same on our approaches. As you can kind of see, the difference between last round and the round before, that's all of our approaches. That's the round we just played. As you can see, that is significantly better on our approaches. Crazily different. Um, we can kind of see this one here was unsuccessful. The front right, we missed it a little bit. Um, well, they class as unsuccessful there. That one was two foot away from the hole, which, yeah, pretty much it was. I mean, we still missed, but that's not the point. Um, and as you can kind of see where we're going, how close we are, and what, what's, what's occurring with those. Um, and likewise, our shots to finish on averages um, with everything that's going on. And if we do that again, we'll see more statistics. And as you play, obviously, I've only got two rounds in here. So as I progress and as I do more more and more will fill in here my short game how well we all over and this was last the last round we can see more details all of this can be interrogated all of this can be found out and for example if i look at this one here um we'll go on that and then we can click on that which will take me to the hole it's talking about which is cool so this helps give you an idea of how accurate you've been um, and how well you've been doing there putting obviously is a very helpful one we last round we put we took 26 putts compared to 34 last time um, we last round we missed most of our shots um, short this time we were missing most long which means we've counteracted that a little bit which is good as you can kind of see, we're now getting a little bit 50 50 -er. Um How many average parts we're we doing? What's our longest hold part? Um, on average, how many parts are we taking? Um, as you can see, the difference there between our average and our last round is significantly better, which gives me it gives us that idea of how much we've we played better, um, how close on average we were to the whole starting um, in terms of parts, how many average shots, and so on and so forth. All this information, all this data is here for you to spend time looking at and understanding and learning and I think it's fantastic and I, I I can't wait to get more shots I can't wait to get 5, 15 I can't wait to get all my data in here so that I can learn more about how I play leaderboards are interesting if you want to perhaps look at them I personally don't put too much on it um, because for example if we look at driving global driving all-time longest drive was 436 yards <sighs> was that downhill with wind who knows and for example I only have a five wood so my distance is 256 with my five wood um, so that I'm guarantee wasn't a five wood so it's kind of a, you have to take it all with a pinch of salt um, all of this sort of stuff um, and you might want to kind of look at your average diving distances and again this for me is 194 um, whereas that's 295 295 so did they use all their shots off the tee with with a driver who knows um, so yeah it's got some cool statistics if you want to compare yourself so for example in my handicap bracket with my approach shots I'm 49th which isn't too bad um, in the world I'm 120th not too bad um, but again how much do you take with this because if i'm being honest then it's fine but it, i'm for example someone here might not be and they might go yeah do you know what? i hit my pitching wedge and drag the distance all the way to the end to get around it i'm not saying they did of course but it's a possibility so take the leaderboards with a pinch of salt the really interesting stuff is this performance statistic which i cannot wait to d drill more into so yeah guys that's everything it took a bit longer than i was expecting to talk through it all but that's because there's so much to talk about i love coming back from a game making sure everything's as it should be and looking at my statistics the first round i did i went straight home did it and then drove straight to my dad's to talk about it because i was that nerdy about it loved it so yeah i hope this has been helpful guys i know now i know that the v3 is now out um which Ah, there it is. 
but you can't find any information about it you can't get anything more so it's a bit late doing this review um i'm i've asked about them about this to find out more information um so that i can potentially make an informed decision about to whether i want to buy one myself um so i'll find out from them about that so you might well see a, a comparison video between the two so yeah that's all guys from me have a wonderful time if you enjoy this please do subscribe drop us a like it's all great it's all good to see you guys have a wonderful time stay safe enjoy bye bye